Hello my dear friends, in today's video I'll show you how you can design and animate this beautiful bar chart in PowerPoint. You can insert new values and this bar chart will update automatically and all of the animations will remain as well. So let's go. And as you know, tragic events are currently happening in Ukraine. Russia has started and continues devastating attacks and bombings in Ukraine since 24th of February. Many people have lost their lives and their homes, and that's an absolute tragedy. Part of my family is in Ukraine, and my heart and my support is with Ukraine. Please stop the war, and please help the Ukrainian people. Alright my friends, so first of all, here's a little bit of information about the colors that we'll be using. So basically we'll be using this dark purple color and this green color. You can see the hex values just below. We'll be using this rounded rectangle with the inside shadow and these uh, soft uh, balls uh, just for the background. And as well, we'll be using some flying animations with some bouncing end. And it looks like this, alright. And here on the left side we have a couple of text boxes, nothing too fancy. Alright, so let's start with a fresh blank new slide and here you can see I have already inserted a couple of these elements. We have slide number, we have footer and if you'd like to learn how you can create all of these slide design elements, please check out my Skillshare class on how to create a modern PowerPoint template. Link is in the video description and by the way today's tutorial slides will be added to the bonus slides section of this Skillshare class. Okay. And now let's continue working on our bar chart. Let's go to our slide and let's insert a chart. Let's go to insert. Let's look for this button chart. Let's click on it. And now let's choose a bar chart and let's choose staggered bar. Here it is. Let's select it and let's click OK. And as you can see, currently we have four bars in our chart. And in this case, uh, we need just one bar, so let's delete the rest of the bars. We can go to this little Excel window and select the rows 5 to 3 and let's just delete them. And now as you can see, we have just one bar. That's beautiful. But as you can see, we have three colors or we have three series and we need just two. So let's delete series number three so that we have only two series. Okay, just like that. And let's say that we would like this bar chart to represent 100%. Okay. So for series number one, let's insert, for example, 70%. And for series two, we would have to insert 30% so that in total we would have 100%. And let's say that later on we would like to change the value of series one and let's type in, for example, 50%. And this would mean that we have to update series two as well. And let me show you how we can automate series two so that we don't have to update it manually every time. Just type in equals one minus and click on this uh, series one cell okay and just hit enter and this way you have inserted a formula and now every time you insert a new series one value series two will be calculated automatically so that we would have 100 percent in total that's super duper awesome just keep in mind if you would insert 90 percent for series one your bar chart might look something like this where this uh, dark purple side is much smaller than the lighter side it should be other way around and that's because we have to do a slight adjustment to this horizontal axis. So let me show you how we can do that. Just right click on the horizontal axis and let's go to axis uh, options. Okay, so here they are. And here for the minimum uh, bound, let's just insert zero. And for the maximum, let's insert one. And now your bar chart will look uh, the way it should look like. Okay, 90% and 10%. All right, and now let's clean up this chart and delete any of the elements that we don't need, such as chart title, these uh, grid lines, uh, vertical axis, and horizontal axis, and the legend as well. So basically, there should be only the bar chart left. Okay, and one more interesting concept that I'd like you to know is that each chart in PowerPoint has a chart area and a plot area. So chart area is this big uh, rectangle, and the plot area is where the chart lives. So let's make sure that we move this plot area to the top left corner and let's resize our chart or our plot area so that it has the same size as the chart area. And this way it will be much easier to resize our bar chart, okay? You can resize it to any size that you wish. And to keep it consistent, let me just cut this bar chart and let me paste it to my previous slide. 
and let me try and match the uh, width and height of these bar charts. Okay, looking pretty good. So let's paste back this bar chart into our slide. Let's align it to the center and middle of the slide. And now let me show you how we can stylize the series inside of this chart. So for this uh, series on the right side, let's uh, try changing the fill color so we can uh, choose solid fill. And for the fill color, let's try the slide gray color. Okay. And for the series on the left side, let's try a gradient fill. And as you can see, PowerPoint remembers my last created gradient and has applied it automatically. So here we have uh, these two uh, colors that I have introduced to you at the beginning of tutorial. So first of all, we have this dark purple color. So once again, this is the hex code if you'd like to use it as well. And the second color is this green color. And here is the hex code. All right. And next, let me show you how we can insert a data label that shows the percentage. OK, so let's just right click on this gradient bar and let's choose add data label. All right. So it might be very small. So let's just select the data label. Let's increase the font size. Let's just type in 48. Let's change the font color to white and change the font to any font that you like. For example, Montserrat semi bold. OK, now we can see the percentage. So now let's test it out. Let's try changing the series one value and let's look if the data label updates automatically. And yes, it looks like that everything is working just fine. So let's, for example, insert 50 and the chart updates to 50. Let's insert 87 and we have 87. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. OK, and next, my friends, let me show you how we can add this rounded look to our bar chart because the default look is just rectangular. And let me show you how we can add this kind of rounded look. OK, so first of all, let's just insert a simple rectangle. OK, just draw any rectangle. Let's uh, make it a bright rectangle. Let's change its fill color to yellow. Let's remove the outline. And now let's make sure that we match the width of uh, this yellow rectangle to our bar chart, just like that. And now let's make sure that we match the height as well. So we can just bring it on top and try matching like that. Or we can bring our yellow bar here to the side and try matching like that. But I think the easiest way is just, uh, first of all, making our yellow bar a little bit uh, transparent and just place it on top of our chart just like that. And now let's zoom in and let's use these uh, white uh, bubbles, uh, these white handles and move them as closely as possible to the edge of the bar chart, just like that. And this way we have matched the height of this uh, yellow bar and the bar chart, just like that. OK, so now we can select the yellow bar. We can uh, remove the transparency, just like that. And now let's go to shape format. Let's go to edit shape and let's choose change shape. And this time let's use rounded rectangle. So basically we have converted this simple rectangle to rounded rectangle. And you can use that little yellow handle to make your rounded rectangle as uh, rounded as you wish. And let's just make a backup of this rounded rectangle shape. We might need it in the future. OK, and now let's insert one more shape. Let's just insert a simple rectangle. Let's uh, fill it with white color and let's leave the outline so that we can see where are the edges of this white rectangle. Let's uh, send it to back. Let's make sure it's in the center. OK, and let's make sure that the edges of this white rectangle uh, touches the size of the slide just like that. All right. And you can make it as narrow or as wide as you wish. OK. And now let's make sure that this white rectangle is selected. OK, hold down the shift key, select this yellow rounded rectangle. And now let's go to shape format, merge shapes and let's use subtract. So now we have basically punched a hole inside of this white rectangle. Let me just move this white rectangle to the front so that you can see the result. And now, as you can see, we have basically created a mask for our chart. And this way we have created this rounded look. So let's just remove the line from this uh, white rectangle. And in the selection pane, let me just give it a proper name to this white rectangle with a hole in the middle. Let's just call it chart cover. OK. And now let's uh, move the chart itself to the bottom of the selection pane list. And let's move the chart cover just above the chart so that it covers the chart. OK. And now to make the slide background a little bit more interesting, we can insert a couple of those uh, soft circles. OK, let's jump to our branding slide and let's uh, select these soft balls. 
And these soft balls are just basically simple uh, circles with a soft edge effect applied to them. As you can see, soft edge is set to 100 points. Okay, this makes them super soft. And for the fill transparency, I'm using 90%. So let's copy these guys and let's paste them into our slide. Okay, let's paste them right here and let's send them to back so that they are behind the chart. Just like that, you can resize them and reposition them according to your taste. And now for this series on the right side, which currently have this uh, gray fill, we can actually turn off uh, the fill completely so that we can see those uh, soft uh, balls in the background. And this way we get even more minimal and interesting looking design. Okay. And let's make sure that the chart is still editable. So let's try inserting new values for series one. And as you can see, the chart is updating automatically and everything is working just fine. So that's great news. All right, and next let's continue working on the inside shadow for our bar chart. Okay, let me show you how we can create the subtle inside shadow. And for that, we can reuse this rounded shape. So basically, we'll have to apply a white fill to this rounded rectangle. And we'll have to add a shadow, an inside shadow that uses this beautiful green color. Okay, and the inside shadow preset that I have used is this one in the center. And I have used as well blur of 50 points and transparency of 70%. So let me just hit Ctrl Shift C to copy the style and let's apply this uh, style to this guy in our backup slide. Okay, now let's just copy this long inside shadow. Let's paste it right here and let's just send it to back of the selection list. Okay, just like that. And now we have a beautiful subtle inside shadow for our rounded bar chart. Looking beautiful. And now the design part is ready. And next let's bring this bar chart to life and let's add some animations to it. So let's make sure that we select these uh, series on the left side, 77% series, okay. Let's go to animations and let's choose flying animation. Let's choose flying direction from my left. Let's choose the way it starts. Let's leave it on click. Okay, let's open up the animation pane and let's adjust the uh, animation duration. Let's use two seconds and let's jump into the animation options. And for the bounce end, let's insert 1.7 seconds and let's check out how it looks like. As you can see, we have the flying animation, but here on the left side, as you can see, we have this little gap once, uh, you know, this bar comes in. So let me show you how we can uh, fix that, this little gap. So to fix it, first of all, let's go to selection pane. And for now, let's just hide the uh, chart cover so that we can see the whole chart just like that. And now let's select the inside shadow. Let me just uh, rename it in the selection pane. Let's just call it uh, chart inside shadow. And now let's make a copy from this guy. Let's just hold down Control Shift key and drag a copy to the left side. Let's uh, resize this copy a little bit. And for this copy, let's remove the shadow. We don't need uh, the shadow on this guy. And let's uh, change the fill. Let's use our dark purple color just like that. And let's change uh, this shape to a simple rectangle just like that. All right. And now let's make sure that this uh, new purple shape just uh, touches uh, our chart on the left side and that it touches the slide on the left side here as well. Okay, now let's make sure that we select both the purple shape and the chart and let's group them into one group. Just hit Ctrl G. Okay, and let's send this whole group to back or let's actually just undo that and let's go to the selection pane and let's do it right here. First of all, let me just rename it to chart group. And now let's select it and let's move it just below the chart cover. Okay, just right here. And now we can unhide the chart cover. Okay, so let's make sure that the chart cover is unhidden. That's good. And now let's go into the animation pane. As you can see currently, no animations are left because we have grouped the shapes and the animations are lost, which means we have to apply the flying animation once again, but that's uh, very easy to do. So let's make sure that the chart is selected. Let's apply the flying animation, direction from left, animation duration 2 seconds, and for the bounce end, let's insert 1.5, I mean 1.7 seconds. Okay, and now let's see if we have fixed the gap, and as you can see, we have this beautiful flying bounce in animation, and there is no gap because we have added an additional purple element, okay? And as a finishing touch, let me just copy these text boxes from my previous slide, and let's paste them into our slide. Okay, let's align them to the left edge of the chart, just like that. 
And in the animation pane, let's make sure that everything is happening the way we want it to happen. So let's make sure that the title animation happens the first. And the chart animation starts with previous and let's add a 0.2 second delay for that. Alright, and this is the final look of our beautiful rounded bar chart. Looking beautiful. And as always, you can adjust the position of these soft fuzzy balls. Okay, so let's check it out on the full screen. Congratulations ladies and gentlemen, now you know how you can design and animate these beautiful editable rounded bar charts in PowerPoint. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video. And before we end the video, let me just quickly check if the chart is still editable. So let me just right click on it and choose edit data. And let's try inserting new values for series 1, for example 17. Okay, let's try for example 37. Okay, still working. And 67, looking good. And 98 or 97. That's beautiful. And let's see if the animations are still working. And the animations are still working. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. See you on the next one. Stay in peace.